Akrai is a dish which is it's a curry that's made in a Akrai pan. So it's a it's a double sided, double handled, uh, wok like metal pan and was well, usually metal. Um, and that's so that's what we're going to be using here today. Now, if you don't have a Akrai at your house, that's not a problem. You can cook it in a normal pan as well. In fact, a lot of restaurants they might call something chicken Akrai or lamb Akrai, and they might just be using a normal frying pan, and then they put it together and just some kind of a decorative uh, serving dish that looks like a cry. So that's, there are so, like I said, there's so many different types of chicken curry recipes. This is one of them and it's called chicken namkeen. Um, is everyone able to I've hear I've got me? a feeling this is not online. <laughs> Just checking this. Is, are we online here? Um, just checking if anyone can hear. I think we may not be online for this one. Oh yes, we are, we are. I think. Okay, there good. we go. <laughs> we are? All right. We are on one of them, maybe not YouTube, right? Okay, great. So we're, we're back then. So I'm making what is called yep. chicken namkeen. And uh, that is a very, very simple chicken karai dish. And it's one of my favorites. It's, it's, the, the flavor is just, it's just so nice. And the, one, the, the, hidden rest, the hidden ingredient, the one that uh, really brings out the flavor is what Americans would call schmaltz. And that's uh, chicken fat. Um, so in the U.S., if you're watching this from the U.S., you could probably purchase schmaltz and uh, make things a lot easier on yourself. Over here in the U.K., we can get goose fat quite easily, but we can't get chicken fat. Um, I've never seen it anywhere. So you have to render it. And you'll see um, above or below this, this uh, video, I've got a link to this recipe in my, uh, on my blog. And I also show, demonstrate in a video how to make schmaltz. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I think this, uh, this oil is a bit, going a little bit too hot here. Um, I've got some, some uh, uh, chicken fat going right now, and this adds a really nice flavor. Don't use goose fat if you're here in the UK. It just said it's a bit too strong actually for this. So you are going to want to make use the uh, chicken fat. If you have to, maybe do a, a mix of goose fat and normal rapeseed oil or something like that. So um, let's just go over to the pan. I've, um, what I've done is I've cut over, I've cut some chicken here. This is one chicken. I made the, the, the fat with two, the, the skin of two chickens, just chopped it up really finely. And uh, this is the uh, chicken, which I, uh, one of the chickens anyway, that I used uh, to, to get the, the, the fat. And that's what we're gonna be using here. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put this in the pan now. It's quite hot as you can see. And I'm just gonna, so, as you can see here, it will calm down in a bit. I just want to cook this chicken through. Now, in my book, The Curry Guy Bible, I've got this same recipe. However, because I'm doing it live, I am kind of shortening the recipe a bit. I, for one thing, I wanted to show you that you can do that because the um, authentic way of doing it would be to keep this on a very high heat and just let the chicken fry until it's really crispy. And a lot of times at the street stalls, they'll cover the, the wok and just let it fry in the oil until all the skinless chicken pieces become really crispy. I'm not going to go that far with that tonight. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cook it through and that will still get a really nice flavored curry. I know because I did it last night just to test it. So uh, that's one chicken right there, by the way, which I've cut into about 24 pieces. And all this oil, now you were, we're not going to be using all this oil. What I'm going to do is uh, um, after this has had a chance to really cook through, and be ready to continue with the recipe. I will then spoon a lot of this out. So it's a lot of work to make chicken fat. It's, it's easy work, but you still have to do uh, some, some work. So I usually get it out and then put it into a bowl and keep it for the next time. So you can freeze it, last forever. That way you can make this whenever you feel like. If anyone has any questions about this or anything about the recipe, just ask. 
I'd be happy to answer a bit. Yeah, thanks think. for your help, everyone. Looks like we're definitely up and running on all the channels, so that's good. Through. People are just saying they've got the Bible arriving and... Oh, good. good. Well, this is one of... Yeah. This, by the way, is really... I tried this in India last time I was over there. And um, it's actually a Pakistani dish, but uh, I tried it in India. And it was just one of the it was one of the street food stalls that was so popular and ever there was a long queue for for it because it was just so good and they, they cooked it just like we're seeing here so we're just cooking this making fried chicken so who doesn't like fried chicken so it's going to be nice and it's cooked in all that chicken fat there and as that's cooking through and everything i'm going to go ahead and start removing some of this oil some of it we want to keep in the pan because it adds a nice flavor. But you don't want to have it swimming in it. You just want to have a little bit kind of coating the meat. It takes a little bit of time to do that, but that's okay. And because we're doing this live, I'm going to go ahead and change my spoon now, so I'm using the plastic spoon. Wouldn't want to try this with a plastic spoon because it takes forever. So I've got about four tablespoons or so of fat in that pan now. In fact, I'm going to add just a little bit more back to the pan. Not too much. Now, this recipe thing is great about it is it only has seven ingredients in total. And you would not believe how good it tastes when it's done. It just, it just doesn't make sense because Indian recipes, they're known for having just way too many ingredients. It's just too many things to do. And uh, that's, what, that's probably the biggest complaint I hear is, oh God, you have to do so much, you have to buy so many different uh, spices and everything. We don't have any spices going in this. The only spice that's going in this is black pepper. I'm just kind of frying that up a bit, make it a little bit crispier. Uh, but like I said, in my book, I say to, to, to cook it for longer, and that is the way you should do it. But it, this will work just fine. Look at that, that's getting nice and crispy in there. Okay, so I'm gonna add some tin chopped tomatoes. And the way I saw this done in India was they used peeled fresh tomatoes. But over here in the UK where we don't always get the best tomatoes in the middle of uh, winter, I just recommended using chopped tomatoes from a tin and that works really well. Hey, Graham's asking, can you do this dish with boneless, skinless chicken thighs? Yes. Um, matter of fact, um, I wrote that in my blog post and I meant to say that here live as well. A lot of people don't like chicken on the bone or wet chicken on the bone. So um, yes, you are you will be missing a little bit of the flavor because those bones do add some flavor to the, in the, in the, when they boil into that liquid. But um, if you really don't like it on the bone, don't do it on the bone. But you'd have to get your chicken fat from somewhere else then. You'd have to get the whole well, chicken. Well, you can still buy, you can buy chicken thighs because usually yeah. they have fat on yeah, them anyway. That. That's a great yeah. source of chicken fat. So if you want to just buy your uh, chicken thighs and then take the bone out and uh, use the chicken fat from the, from the what's on them. Now I'm just letting this, I just want to show you this up close a bit. I'm just trying to get this sauce so it gets quite thick. I want it to be adhering to the chicken. Because this is a this is a dish that, that is usually served with chapatis or naans, and you don't use any cutlery. You just pick it up. So it's a uh, one of those that just they just give you a plate and 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 some naan or chapati or something like that, and you just eat it up, and it's seriously good. All right, so I want to add. I my recipe says it calls for six chilies. I think I've used about seven uh, uh, seven or eight there just because I like them. And those are just whole chilies, which I've cut down the center. I left the seeds in. And that's another thing that you can change. You don't have to leave the seeds in. If you want it to be not very spicy, don't want to take the chance of it being too spicy, take the seeds out before you uh, add them to this. I like a little bit of spice in there. 
and then some black pepper. And in my book, I call for a teaspoon of black pepper. I think I've used about two teaspoons here just because I like it. So when you're writing a cookbook like that, you have to be a bit careful because you don't want to tell them people to use two teaspoons of black pepper and then they're blown away by the black pepper. I know what I like. You probably know what you like. So do it that way. But uh, use the recipe as a guide and you'll, you can't go wrong. Then, the only thing I have to do to this now is add a bit of salt. Yeah, let's go out there. There we are, some salt. See how it's getting nice and thick? And then, this is uh, really nice as well. I've got some Julian ginger. I just spread that over the top. I'm going to Stir some of it in, and then I'm going to serve it to Caroline tonight with a little bit of it to garnish as well. There we are. Are you still on full heat, Richard's asking? That is on you full are, heat. Aren't you? Yeah, you can see it's <laughs> bubbling away. It's on full heat. Just to get the chicken cooked at this point, I think. I like, well, I'm cooking it down is the reason. Right. Uh, I'm cooking it right down because I want the sauce to be perhaps slightly thicker than that. That's getting pretty nice and thick. I don't know if you can see that. That's, that's a lot thicker than how we started. And it's not sticking to the pan at all. So that's, that's about kind of time to take it off the, the heat right there. Jane's saying she just got the curry guy Bible and she can't find chicken karahi, only lamb karahi. Is it the same recipe? All right, it's called chicken nankeen. And the, uh, so a karahi is sir, it's any curry that's cooked in a karahi. Um, so the chicken namkeen, which uh, if I see if I can find this in here. I think it's page 88. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Don't know how I knew that. I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Dun, right dun, there, dun. chicken namkeen. Looks about the same, doesn't it? See, we make all these recipes um, right when we're doing the photography. So I think that's pretty, pretty close there. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and turn this off now. I'm going to give it a little bit of a try. So it's chicken, chicken namkeen, which is a type of chicken, it was a type of karahi. It's a top type of um, chicken karahi. I just tried some of that. It is absolutely, I just love it. And it's so easy to make, as you can see, seven ingredients. There aren't any uh, crazy, you know, there's no, there's no cumin and coriander. Well, the only fiddly and, bit is the chicken yeah, fat, but. That's the fiddly bit is that. But, um, as you can see, I've, I've put a bunch of it in there. I've really got enough to make this whole recipe again and probably again. Well, Graham says he missed the sauce he put in. There's not really any there sauce. Tomatoes. We, yeah, we, we fry, we fry tomatoes. Yeah, that's it. And uh, it, there's, there's five ingredients, five and, real and, main ingredients. And the chicken fat. Yeah, chicken fat, chicken, um, some uh, tomatoes, um, Julian ginger, and some chilies. And you'd think that would be boring, but believe me, try this. It is nowhere near boring. In fact, it's really good. Get yourself some chapatis or something like that just to try it with. And uh, I've never, I've never heard anyone complain about this. But it's, it's just so. It's it's because it's it's one that anyone can eat. It's not really spicy. It's um, it, it just it has a nice tomato, thick tomato sauce, and um, it's it's just really good. So I, I wanted to make sure I made that tonight. And um, it is, uh, well, I hope you give it, give it a go. I mean, it, it's, this is real. If you don't have the book, I've got it on my blog and there's a link there. And I've also, uh, you can also um, uh, watch this video back as well. Do right. you have any questions? It, it, or? I think that's everything because it's so simple. There's not many questions. Yeah, it's and a very you, simple one here. Just, uh, I was asked so much for a cry dish. I'm going to be doing some other cry, cry dishes over the uh, next few months, I'm sure. But I uh, wanted to show you, start out with one of the easiest and um, I hope you do give it a try. And you've got um, the video um, of how to do the chicken. Fry. Yeah, there's a, there's a video on there. So if you just click that link, there's a link, uh, depending on where you're watching this, if it's, it's either above the, this live video or below it, uh, you'll find the link. Well, I had to watch the video to make the chicken fat and I followed yeah, it okay. So. That's right. <laughs> yes. Caroline made the chicken did, fat. So do, you make this, watch this video, make yeah. the chicken fat. Yeah, and it's did easy, it. isn't it? <laughs> yes. Isn't it easy? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, right, see? And what is it on Monday we're doing? Yeah, on Monday we are going to be making um, chicken... Uh, methy. Chicken methy, yeah, chicken methy. 
and because uh, a lot of people have been asking for chicken methane, so we're going to do that. And then on Wednesday, we're going to be doing, um, and that's going to be a curry house style chicken methane. Then we're going to be doing a chicken sog, so chicken with spinach, on um, Wednesday. On Wednesday, and then. I'm going to start something new because the, the Thai book is coming out here very soon. I'm going to start doing some Thai videos. And I think we're going to start that the following week. A week and, on uh, Monday, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to start from the basics, making the different uh, curry pastes. And then we're going to get into uh, what, what you can do with those curry pastes. And I'll show you everything. So before you get the book, you can see how straightforward it is and what you can make with it. So, um, yeah, so I hope to see you on Monday for... Uh, the uh, chicken methy and Wednesday for chicken sog. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Thanks a lot.